हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर शर्मिला गंगाड़े डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी चांगू काना ठाकुर आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड साइंस कॉलेज पनवेल डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द न्यू टॉपिक फ्रॉम द रिसर्च मेथडोलॉजी दैट इज रिसर्च प्रॉब्लम स्टूडेंट्स रिसर्च इन कॉमन परलांस इट्स अ सर्च ऑफ नॉलेज रिसर्च इज बेसिकली दैट एवरीबडी नोज इट इज अ साइंटिफिक एंड सिस्टमेटिक इंक्वायरी एंड द सर्च ऑफ एक्चुअल नॉलेज रिसर्च इज बेसिकली अ अकेडमिक एक्टिविटी सो वाइल डूइंग रिसर्च द मेन थिंग दैट एवरीबडी हैज टू एनकाउंटर दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम सो टूडे हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रिसर्च प्रॉब्लम सो लेट सी दैट वॉट इज रिसर्च प्रॉब्लम इज सो रिसर्च प्रॉब्लम इज बेसिकली डील विथ द प्रॉब्लम एज द थिंग्स यू आर यू आर गोइंग टू सी इन द पी पी टी so basically students what is research problem a research problem in general refers to some difficulty which a researcher experiences in the context of either a theoretical or practical situation and wants to obtain a solution for the same basically student whenever a researcher which is a person doing the research has certain difficulty or encounters some problems while doing his research that time we can say that it is something the problem is but that research problem may be in context with theoretical or practical situation and that researcher has to obtain the solution about that so that is what the research problem is so research problem in the research process everybody knows that it is a first and foremost step happens to be that is what the selecting and properly defining a research problem basically student a research process consists with the seven to eight different step where we are going to see the select the problem then go through the re review of literature then we'll see the methodology then we'll have the certain experimentation then observation result conclusion at such in that research process the very very first and foremost step is happen to be that is to select the problem unless and until you have the problem you cannot see the solution for it so that is the reason why this is a very important concept that everybody should know a researcher must find the problem and formulate it so that it becomes susceptible to the research it should not be like that there should not be a any solution about that problem so that is the reason why every researcher must find the appropriate and suitable problem for his or her research and to formulate that the entire pros cons limitations and everything that researcher must know as like student like a medical doctor when a patients come to the medical doctor the doctor first see examine all the symptoms that patient has gone through so all the symptoms concerning to that problem he first going to look after and then diagnose correctly so that like that the same way researcher has to find out the problem first to formulate it and then continue it for the research so here the term comes what is a research problem or how can you identify your research problem for your research work so to define a problem correctly a researcher must know what's the problem is then and then only the researcher can find out the solution for it so student it is a most important step in the research process to identify the problem and to see what the solution about it so that is the reason why while identifying the problem there are certain things which are keep it in a mind and then and then only you can able to solve it so to define a problem correctly a researcher must know what is the problem so that's why we are going to see further how the research problem could be selected how it is been identified and how to see solution for it so students there are two types of research problems which are exist in the nature the problems which relates to the state of a nature for example status of working children in any metropolitan city in year 2020 if you can able to see this student this is something a survey based research where we are going to accumulate or going to take the entire survey of working children in the metropolitan city in the year 2020 so when you have the problem you can able to formulate the aspect on which you need to work on so for that purpose student you have to see what is the nature of the problem 
So second type of problems are like problems which relates to the relationship between variables. Variables are nothing but the parameters. So whenever you are going to see the variables, the two variables, they are actually control each other. And based on that, your research is best, based actually. So that is the reason why whenever we are going to see the variables, at that time there are extraneous variable, dependent variable, independent variable, etc. So in order to see that, the problems which relate to the variable, there must be always one variable will control by the second variable. So that is the reason why, for example, I have taken here, lack of chemical fertilizer is the main cause of low production of grain food. Suppose you can say that grain food is one variable and chemical fertilizer, usage of chemical fertilizer is a second variable. As you increase the use of chemical fertilizer, you will get a good production. That mean to say. So suppose any researcher has selected such a problem that time he has to see all the control variables, all the parameters and that way he could able to reach to his goal or the target research problem and according to that he will plan for his research work. So student like this there are two types of research problems has been exist. Now question come that how we are going to formulate this research problem. So for that purpose student there is a certain logic behind it. And to explain that logic I have one theory in front of you. Usually we say that there is a research problem which does not exist if the following conditions are not met. Now what are that there must be an individual or a group of organization let us call it as a I. I stands for individual to whom the problems can be attributed or associated. So the individual or the organization as the case may be, it occupies an environment, yes. Then that environment which occupies the individual, it says that, suppose that it is N. So we can define the value of uncontrolled variable by YJ. So what are uncontrolled variables that is will be defined by the course of actions and the content. So first of all here you have to remember there are two things first the individual individual always will be a researcher because he has to attain the problem right. So individual will be defined as I environment which is around the individual we can say it N then there must be at least two course of action say C1 and C2 to be pursued. So suppose individual has a certain problem where he is working in the environment N. So in order to attain the problem he has a two course of action. Two course of action means he has a two solutions that could be say as C1 and C2 which is to be pursued. So a course of action which is defined by one or more values that is control variable. For example, number of atoms purchased for a specific time is said to be a course of action, suppose. So you can at a time purchase many uh, atoms. So many atoms come up in a many variables. So here you are going to purchase suppose two atoms. So it will have a two course of action that could be defined as a C1 and C2. So there must be at least two possible outcomes say O1 and O2. So student just now I had explained there are two course of action. Everybody knows that the law of universe that is what every action has equal and opposite reaction. So here we can say that whenever a researcher come up with any action this action leads to the outcome. So suppose you have a two course of action C1 and C2 you will have a two outcomes. So which are that outcomes O1 and O2 for the every course of action. So researcher if he has taken a 10 course of action he will make a 10 outcomes like that. So there must be at least two possible outcomes for any course of action say O1 and O2 for that. So of which one should be preferred to the another. So where you can get the suitable solution you can able to take that outcome as your research outcome. So this is what this is basically the theory behind the how the problem has to be selected. So in other words this mean that there must be at least one outcome which researcher wants and that outcome is said to be a objective. So that's why every researcher has to have the objective in order to pursue for the research problem. So these objectives are come under the aim and objective section of the research and this aim is basically your research problem which you need to 
pursue for. So that is the reason why every researcher want to solve the problem and that problem can be come up with the certain outcomes and that outcomes you can said to be the outcomes that researchers want that are nothing but the objectives. So now this is some the set of action which I have been taken. Student this is just a, a logic to obtain the objective. Suppose the course of action available must have same chance to obtain the objective. You have a set. Set is the all things which are there. So P is a set of OJ. OJ is outcome. I is individual. C is course of action. And N is your environment. So P is a set of objective. Then action. Outcomes individual course of action and environment so this represent student the probability that an outcome could, could be occur so if i is an individual he had selected the one course of action cj in environment n then he will have the different outcomes as it is been there so in simple words we can say that the choices must have a unequal efficiencies for the desired outcome. So you will get a different outcomes when you have chosen the correct research problem. So that is the reason why objective must be selected carefully in order to have a different efficiencies to come up with the desired outcome. So student this is just a logic behind to set the objective and to select the research problem. Now, while the selecting research problem, that it should not be a very complicated. So there are certain factors which may be result in making this problem very complicated. Because many a time researcher does not knowing that how to select the problem. Okay, if we select the problem, how to we take out the outcome from it? So for instance, we can say that the environment may change that affect the efficiency of your course of action and that's why it will affect the efficiency. Also the number of alternative courses of action may be very large. The person not involved in making decision may affect or may be favorably or unfavorably it affects on that outcomes. So all such a element at least the important ones may be thought to be in context with the research problem. So student individual environment course of action and outcome these are the important factors we need to think of while selecting the research problem so this is in broad we can say that it is logic behind selecting the research problem but practically when selecting the research problem what are the things to be considered that we are going to see here so these are the components of the research problem what are the components an individual as I already told an individual or the researcher who belongs to that problem an individual or a group of an organization that had some difficulty or problem is the main important component of the research problem some objectives to be attained that is also a part of research problem alternative means for attaining the objective that is also one of the component of research problem some doubt in the mind by the researcher that how to select that alternative solution or what are the another method which could be say that the suitable for it that is also some of the make say that the component of a research problem some environment or environments which may pertains to the difficult for the researcher to select the problem so these are important components which we may say that it is a component of the research problem so while selecting the research problem student we have to take care of all these things so main thing while studying the research problem everybody knows that the individual the environment the objective which is to be attained the alternative means of the objective doubt in the mind of the researcher and the environments which are affecting on it so here now term comes actually or practically how we can select the problem so selecting the research problem is the thing which is keep it in a mind that the while selecting a research problem so student now question come that what are the aspect we have to keep it in a mind while selecting a good research problem or we can say that yes that research problem is good one so while selecting the research problem we need to 
survey or we need to think some of the problems or some of the aspects which is have to keep it in a mind while selecting the research problem so the research problem undertaken for the study must be carefully selected why student because while selecting the research problem you should know that the good problem or the research problem which is selected properly it is a half done work so it, that is the reason why the research problem undertaken should be selected very carefully otherwise you will encounter with the certain problems which will not lead you to the solution that is the reason why the research problem undertaken for the study must be carefully selected now while selecting the research problem what are the things to be considered the first thing student subject which is overdone shall not be chosen because there are many aspects which have been already work out on that that's why you should not select the problem you should not select the research problem which is already done by so many researchers so subject which is overdone shall not be chosen second thing that is controversial subject should not be become a choice of an average researcher why because already the controversies are there in the world so when you are going to select the research problem at that time you cannot able to select that problem for the particular research work second thing too narrow or too vague problems should not be selected or it should be avoided what happens student whenever the subject is too narrow that time you will not have the sufficient literature to serve too vague at that time you cannot compile the entire work in a one uh, in one thesis that is the reason why too narrow and too vague problems should be avoided subject selected for the research should be familiar and feasible few factors to be considered that are important for the subject the cost involved the time factors the qualification and the training of the researcher so students here you must know that there are certain factors that you the researcher should know how much money has been granted the cost required for the research project the time required for the research project the qualification because well qualified and a trained researcher only can go through the entire experimental work and that is the reason why few factors to be considered while selecting the research problem where you have a, a feasible grant you have a total cost of money you have a entire time to pursue the uh, research work you have a trained staff or you should know about all the experimental protocols and everything so these are the things to be considered while selecting the research problem second thing selection of problem must be preceded by preliminary study in case of new problem if you have or you want to pursue for the new research problem or you want to solve the new research problem that time you should you you have to do certain preliminary work or preliminary study which is going to be done so that is the reason why here we need to say that while selecting the research problem you should take care of subject which is overdone should not be selected controversial subject should not be your choice too narrow to vague problem should be avoided subject selected for the research should be familiar to everyone and feasible to everyone uh, cost involved time factor qualification and train training of the researcher should be considered while selecting the research problem and selection of research problem must be preceded by the preliminary study so these are the few things that everybody should know students so while understanding the research problem the research problems are the specific difficulties or hurdles that one faces so in order to uh, in order for a research to be successful the important to identify the problem forehand and will have to devise a strategy to overcome them so student here about while selecting the research problem what are the care should be taken so in the next video we are going to see what are the things to be considered while understanding research problem thank you